Hi, I'm Mark Hicks. Today we're going to do challenge Hicks. So I challenge all of my head chefs for 20 minutes each to cook as many menu-worthy dishes as possible with seasonal ingredients. Morning. So we've got a challenge with a difference today. We have a, a I was going to say special guest, but uh, we have a guest. Morning, chaps. Today, we've got Jay Rayner coming to sort of have a look at what we're doing and to comment and potentially judge on all of the dishes. One of the problems for restaurants is once you get going, once service is going, it's quite hard to get new dishes on the menu. There's not a lot of time to develop things and come up with ideas. So the idea of this is they're going to cook stuff and some of it is going to be brilliant and some of it's going to be really, really awful. And my job is to decide which is which. Voices off. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, so what are you doing with the goo duck? I'm kind of intrigued to watch you all try and get something out of this. I swear the only way you're going to be able to serve that is if you take the, if you take the meat out of that clam and chop it. After it's cooked or before it's cooked? After. Yeah. So we're going to chop, we're going to chop it down. We're having a goe duck challenge. So how long did you cook it for? I didn't. You are going ceviche with it? As I'm cutting through it, it's very tender actually. I think it's one of those things that when you start cooking it, it toughens up. You're going to marinate it in yeah, just a bit of lime and what are you going for? <clears throat> Lemons and limes, anyone? So guys, what is it like cooking against the legendary Mark Hicks? Not a competition, yeah. by the way. It's, sorry, it's not a competition. No, it's, no, definitely it's a growing not. experience. Exactly. It's very inspiring. These are very inspiring sessions, and that's why you know that's why we do it. So we get all the you know all the seasonal ingredients. We get almost one-on-one -on -one time with Mark, so we get a good two-hour window with Mark. Is that like being you know the child of a divorced family, and you get a little bit of custody time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, takes us to the cinema <laughs> if we could. Right, Mark, where are you at? Where are we at now? I'm just going to do a simple onion dish. You're burning shallots. Oh, no, I'm cooking shallots. I'm just going to do a starter, so I'm going to do them with pickled walnuts. Yeah. A bit of kind of reduced pickled walnut juice and lots of chives. Yeah, okay. Three against zero, Hicks. Although, of course, it's not a competition. It's not, it's not, a, not competition. a competition. Not a competition. It's not a competition. And there's no shame in not getting anything up on the table whatsoever. No. So would you call that a tartare or a ceviche? A uh, ceviche, I think. The bravest dish of the day so far, which is the gooey duck, as a ceviche, uh, which means it's cooked off in the acid from citrus root, in this case lime, with chilli and chives and a bit of coriander. And he swears that he thinks they're more tender, raw, than they were when they were cooked. Lee, head chef at Brown's, and Ronnie, group head chef, have come up with five dishes so far. We have another attempt to take the gooey duck and do something with it. I'll take this for the team. It's cooked. I've eaten a bit. Yeah, I've eaten a bit too. And um, this, is, this is the Heimlich manoeuvre waiting to happen. Are you still eating it? Yeah, I'm still bloody eating it. <laughs> I didn't have long enough. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have long enough, that's the thing. I'm curious, if I go down this end, what it tastes like raw. Yeah. He's right. It's much more edible. It just is, isn't it? It's fucking annoying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's designed to be eaten raw. Ronnie's lamb kidney Swiss chard broth. That has Hicks written all over it. What, this one? Mm. Cuttlefish with bolotti beans, the little chorizo went through them. The beans are very good, aren't they? The beans are great. I have to say, this might be really old fashioned of me, and I know you love the cuttlefish, but I think that's really heavy going. Uh, silver mullet, is this just sashimi or has it been marinated in it as well? Is it lightly marinated? I think that's great. Char grilled shallots with some pickled walnuts and a bit of the pickled walnut liquor. I think of everything I've seen so far today, that's the simplest idea. And it really works. It's really lovely. So I think it's these two win. So we've had the first seven dishes and two more cooks are now on Challenging Hicks. 
So what's the plan? Well, to be honest, um, we're going to kind of make up as we go along. That's part of the whole thing. See what kind of comes up on the plate. We've got some fantastic mushrooms which we got in this week. Some oh. bacon, some nice kind of autumn greens. A little kind of warm salad thing with that, I think. And then maybe a little fish soup. What, are you putting those two together or uh, it's no, separate? No, no, no. <laughs> separate, no. I was going to say, a warm yeah, bacon uh, salad with a booyah base is, it, is, is pushing the envelope on what should ever be allowed. Mark, are you on, up against them at the same time? What are you doing? I've got about four things on the go. Luckily, because my mind rolls yeah, on. Don't, don't wave your knife at me. <laughs> Luckily, because mine rolls on, I can get a few things up my sleeve. Oh, I see. For the next You're time. constantly on? So, I, yeah. And which way are you going? Yeah. I've got some green gauges, I'm going to do like a little duck and wild plum sauce, plus a little jelly that I made with the green gauges as well. All right, green gauge jelly, perfect. Little. So it's kind of autumn. Yeah, and we've got some poached autumn fruits as well. Are the two of you actually cooking together here? Sort of, we're getting in each other's way a little bit. What is that? Cuttle. Is it cuttlefish? Yeah, cuttlefish, bacon and sea sandwort, which is this. Oh, you've been foraging again? A bit of foraged, yeah. A bit of uh, rapeseed and cider vinegar. Is anybody keeping watch on the time? Oh, yes. Three seconds. Three seconds. Oh, yeah. Give me three seconds. Goodness. Time's up. So, the two boys have come up with a kind of seafood booyah based thing with a really hefty clam right in the middle. I'd be curious to see where that's cooked through. Do you know what? <laughs> You're never putting these on your bloody menu. No. I've never seen English versions of these. I'll be absolutely honest, you don't want to again. No. Mallard, wild duck in a green gauge sauce. That's as good as it looks. I can imagine that going on a menu. So Mr Hicks, cuttlefish with bacon. I walk away when he does mine. He can slag me off down the back. Quite heavy going to be honest. Cuttlefish can be. I mean, it's a good flavour. It really is. I'm not even really interested in that one. I quite like the cuttlefish dish. I think it's very unlikely that a lot of other people would. Without a doubt, the winner out of this round is the mallard with the green gauge sauce. It's, it's lovely. Well, we are two thirds of the way through the challenge. And as you can see, there have been quite a few dishes prepared. And what we're seeing is some themes coming up again and again. They'll throw pig at various things. They're trying to find ways to use the cuttlefish. I have to say, for all the duds, and there have been some duds, there's a lot of really good stuff here. Final round, let's see what they can cook. Is that braised or, or just marinated? Or? Yeah, smoked, braised, and it's going to be a barbecue. Is it a uh, brisket? Uh, cheek. Cheek. Yeah. And what's the marinade? Uh, it's one of Mark's old recipes. It's um, some Henderson's relish. It's Oxford sauce. There's, uh, so you're basically nicking one of his recipes to take him on with you. I think it's yeah, good. yeah. Use what you've got. OK. Mark, is this your leftovers dish? Yeah. Yeah. Duck and beefsteak fungus with mustard. What's great is it doesn't look like a plate of leftovers. It's brilliant. Rachel, are you deep frying? Deep frying. All right. I'm going to serve it with a holy fuck mayo. <laughs> with a what mayo? <laughs> you got a thing about your slice courgette. Well, it was sit it's been sitting on my board in front of me. I've still got some left. And you hate to waste? Yeah. Time's up. Dishes on the table, please. So, we have Mark's the scallop dish is a scallop dish. Even he knows that. And do I really have to try the leftovers? No. Rachel's pumpkin tops. Okay. Rachel, how much of the holy F sauce did you put through the mayo? Yeah. Yeah. 
So we've seen, what, 30 dishes today, and I've passed comment on almost all of them. This one, which is an ox cheek that's been smoked and then braised and then grilled, is the one that I would order first. And um, if you look behind me, they've just tropped their way through the leftovers of that as well. You'll sell loads of that. Good. Yeah. That's excellent. Mm. Probably the simplest thing all day. No, really, 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 really good. What do you think of today's collection of dishes? Yeah, good. I think we've got a mixture of good, some, there's a few staff meals there. Staff meals. Uh, staff meals being euphemism for they're never going anywhere near any of my menus. <laughs> kind of, right. yeah. Well, you, you choose the dishes. All right. Um, I'm still deeply in love with Ronnie's lamb kidney Swiss chard broth. And also the mallard with the green gauge sauce. That was a great dish. If I was to choose one dish from each side, um, from Hicks's side, it really would be that simple char grilled shallots with the pickled walnuts. Loved it. And from the other side, it's the uh, smoked and grilled cheek with the autumn slaw, which is an absolute killer. So obviously you all like to claim it's not a competition, this is just a way of developing dishes, but I know that you are all hideously competitive, and so it gives me enormous pleasure to tell Martin, you beat Hicks. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Beating Mark Hicks, fantastic. He's a wealth of knowledge and information. To beat him is um, quite shocking, to be fair, but yeah, I'm delighted. Well, Jay Rayner loved it, yeah. He said he wanted to marry it, I think, or move in with it, was his quote. Yeah, it was fantastic. 